Well, we're a unique uh, community, Park City. Uh, in fact, we're a re resort community, a ski town uh, that was a mining town, and um, we have a lot of transient population, a lot of uh, temporary residents, second homeowners. We are a very small community. We have 30 full-time officers here, um, and our dynamic is definitely different than most most small towns. Our full-time population is about 8,500. However, at any given time, we could be 40 to 60,000. Uh, sometimes during Sundance, higher than that uh, during a 10-day period, about 120,000 people. Uh, we've hosted events from as large as the Olympics and as small as uh, the, the Triple Crown. So those just kind of gives you an idea of what what we face on a day-to-day -day basis. We've always tried to stay ahead or, or at least up with, with the increase in technology and, and the demand because the people, we, we serve a, a population that comes from all over the world and they have that expectation when they come here and so we're always looking for new ways to do our job and that's the reason we like crime reports. One of the comments I got back, feedback from one of the community members that uh, we work with that says this was addicting and once you get on it and you find out how much information is out there and how um, timely that information is to help you understand as a resident what's going on in your neighborhood. I think it gives them an added level of, of comfort to know uh, what's going on in, in their neighborhood. I, I, I get calls occasionally from those that are trying to relocate to this area. So I point them to the Crime Reports website and they can look for themselves and make that determination. That's one of the the beauties of Crime Reports is that provide information at their fingertips wherever they might be. In, in case of uh, many of the second homeowners, they could be anywhere in the world and they can get that information about what's going on in, here in Park City at their fingertips and it's almost real-time information. It gives me uh, uh, the ability to look in that area and say this, this is what's going on uh, real-time in your community, in your area. It's a very key tool for us to have to see what's happening uh, again on a very timely basis and a very clear picture and visual picture too of what's happening in those different communities in Park City so that we can really adjust our uh, response, do problem solving, uh, you know, see trends and, and, and work with the community too and we can get them better informed on what's happening so they can take their part in maybe reducing the crime in their neighborhoods. I, I know that as we've tracked our, our call loads and our case loads I think the community's been surprised at how active and busy we are and I think that that, that gives us more support. Yeah, we've adopted the ComStat model here in Park City where making sure that supervisors and officers and command staff are accountable for what crimes are occurring in, in the community. And so it's not just responding to crime, but we want to see what, uh, what's happening in, in different sectors and different beats of the community and making sure our officers and command staff and supervisors are all doing their part to reduce the crime. Command Central has worked out well for us. The what, we're, what we typically do, we, we like to use numbers for our evaluation, so we actually have benchmarks, and there's expectations uh, for our officers, so they're very clear. One of our sergeants uses Command Central for all stat reporting for the department. Um, he uses it not only for reviews, um, but for stat meetings um, to let the captains know what's going on in specific areas. Um, but most importantly for the officers and knowing that they're out there doing their jobs. And they can pull that up on their own. Uh, their supervisors can pull up that information and it gives us the ability to, it, it's flexible, it's scalable, and, and we can point to real numbers when we're in the evaluation process. You know, one of the real great things about it, it's very easy to use. The frontline officer can pick up uh, you know, how to operate it very quickly. Pretty much point and click. They have no issue with using it. It's, it's more uh, it's very user friendly. Uh, we haven't had any issues that I'm aware of of anyone having a, a difficult time navigating through the system. Well, I'll tell you the difference in the, in the previous agencies I've worked at. We actually had crime analysis units that did a lot of this stuff, and, and that was pretty uh, cost intense. You know, it was it cost a lot of money uh, to have people that uh, 
crunch these numbers and then try to put them into a usable form. My personal opinion, uh, as good as they you know, were doing their job, they still couldn't produce the kind of uh, almost real-time data that you're getting from crime reports that downloads that information every morning and provides it to you. And theirs took weeks to do, and so you'd have to put in a request, and, and it took quite a while before that information might be uh, available to you. This is the direction we want to go as far as Comstat, reaching out to the community and getting our officers better informed of what the crime uh, trends and patterns are, but something we couldn't do without the partnership we have with Crime Reports. Mm -hmm.